In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of acrylic pouring as well as three different techniques and the results you can achieve from each of them. First, I'm going to show you materials that you're going to need for just about every acrylic pour. Floetrol, a brush, paint, cups, something to mix with, a canvas, and gloves. First, you're going to need to put on some gloves unless you're also trying to get a free manicure. Getting out paint from your fingers and nails takes forever. Next, go ahead and elevate your canvas using either cups or thumbtacks. Two of the biggest factors in getting a good painting are making sure that you mix enough paint and getting a good paint consistency. To start mixing, I always start with a 1 to 1 ratio of Floetrol to paint. You're going to be looking for a buttermilk or heavy cream consistency. If it's too thick, add more Floetrol. If it's too thin, add more paint. Don't worry if you have trouble your first time. Finding the right consistency will just take a little bit of practice, and it depends on what mixing medium and paints you use. When mixing your colors, start with your base coat. This is typically going to be black or white, but the mixing process for all of your colors is going to be the same. Once your base color is mixed, go ahead and add it to your canvas. This is going to help all your other colors flow and not stick to the canvas later on. Go ahead and use a brush to get an even spread all over the canvas. Our first technique is going to be called flip cup, and you're going to start by pouring all of your colors into one single cup. There aren't any rules to the order that you should put the colors in the cup, but in general the first colors you pour in will come out on top. Also try to pour the colors into the cup slowly to avoid too much mixing before you flip the cup onto the canvas. Now take your canvas and place it on top of the cup, then carefully flip everything back over. Next, add some more of your base color around the cup to help everything flow evenly. When you lift up the cup, you can tap the cup on the corners of the canvas to try and get all of the paint out. Once you get all the paint out, you can go and start tilting the canvas to spread the paint around. Keep in mind that you're not going to have full control over where the paint goes, but going slowly will help give you more control as well as keep the cells intact. The next technique is called a dirty pour. To start this technique, you're going to do all the first steps up until pouring all of the colors into a single cup. Once you have all the colors in a single cup, you're going to pour them directly onto the canvas instead of flipping over the cup like you did in flip cup. Then once everything is out of the cup, go ahead and tilt the canvas to spread out the paint. The next technique is called open cup. For this technique, start by painting the base color on the canvas. Next, pour more of the base color on the center of the canvas. Next, add the open cup to your canvas. You can make one by cutting off the top of a plastic cup. Then you're going to add your colors to the center one at a time. Here, 
Here I'm adding more of the base color just to help everything flow. As you add more color to the middle, you will see cells start to form. You can either keep adding color to the middle until the entire canvas is covered or go ahead and take out the plastic and tilt the canvas. I'm going to go ahead and tilt the canvas just so you can see what that looks like. 